Alrighty, let's get started with digital art. Here's the basics. Uh, you need to get a drawing tablet. This is a must-have. Drawing with a mouse is just not going to be any fun. You're not going to have a good time. And please note that Chromebooks are not compatible with drawing tablets. They just aren't. I think the Wacom Intuos is, but only a specific version of it. And maybe the Wacom 1 or the Wacom Touch or something like that. I don't know. I'm a Huon girl, so Huon, Huion, Huion, Huon, Huon. Yes. I'm, yes. Moving on. So, for tablets, when it comes to them, I recommend the Huon, Huion, whatever. I'm going to say Huon. The Huon HS64, which is the one on the right here. It doesn't have a screen, so you'll be looking at the computer screen while you draw on the tablet. And it costs $39.99. Not bad. If you must get a display tablet, which is a tablet that has a screen, I recommend the Canvas 12, which is very new. It just came out, I believe. It costs $239 with a stand, $219 without. If you can't tell, I love Huon. <laughs> Tablets are a little different than drawing on paper, as if you use the basic tablet that doesn't have a screen, you'll be looking at your computer monitor and not the tablet screen when you're drawing, if that makes sense. And pen nibs, uh, because your pen has the nib in order to draw, obviously, they will wear down, so you'll have to change them out every now and then. You'll usually be able to tell that because the nib will look different. It's hard to explain, but you'll know when you know. Your pen might make a scratchy noise, too, if it's time to change it. Those are just some things I've noticed. Pen nibs are very hard to tell when it's time to change. I usually just change them every couple of months. Now, you'll want to start out with a free art program because if you spend money on a digital art program and then decide you don't like it, well, that sucks. Some free ones are Fire Alpaca, Medibang, and I personally use Clip Studio Paint X, which is the best version of Clip Studio and it costs quite a bit if you don't get it on sale like I did. Okay, now we move on to installing your tablet once you've gotten it. So, so you're going to go to the website of your prov tablet provider. For me, it's Huon. And you'll look up something like Huon driver download and it'll be like the first or second result. And the website for Huon is this. And you'll go to their download driver section and you'll download the most re recent driver for your tablet. You'll install it and then enjoy. So, for me, we say uh, I have the Canvas 22 Plus. I'm on Windows. I need the driver. And it'll load. There it is. There's the two releases they have. I can download either one. Take it and go. And that'd be cool. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that because I already have it downloaded. Okay, now we move on to installing a drawing program. So basically, you want to look up whatever drawing program you want, as long as it's free. Make sure it's free. So for example, Fire Alpaca or Medibang. I'm going to do Fire Alpaca because I personally like the look of it better. And Medibang is kind of nasty looking. I don't know. It's just, even though it looks very similar to, Medibang looks similar to Clip Studio, but I like Fire Alpaca better. Plus, Fire Alpaca has an animation thing built into it, which I don't believe Metabang has. Well, enough talking. You'll you'll look up Fire Alpaca or Metabang. You'll click on download the latest version now. It'll take you to another page. You'll click on whatever version you want. We're going to click on Windows. It'll download, and you'll see it here in your corner. It'll download. And when it's done downloading, you'll just click on it, and yes, it'll launch, and it'll be like, do you want this to make changes to your device? You're going to say yes. Hello? Yes, okay. <laughs> and then you'll select your language. You'll select where it's going. You'll just do all that, click install. And then you enjoy, because it'll be ready to launch. Alright, so here's some general tips. Save your art, like, a lot. Computers are a finicky beast, and they will crash. They just will. Either the art program will crash, or your computer will crash, and it'll suck when you lose all your progress. Now, another tip is to organize your stuff. 
dividing them into folders and naming them by date and putting whips in another folder, etc., etc., things like that, will make it a lot easier later on. Especially if you're doing commissions and things like that and you need to find something quick. Make sure to flip your canvas a lot. I have a short key set up to flip it when I hit the home button. Or, I guess not. There we go. Don't know why I didn't work at first, but moving on. Another thing is memorizing your shortcuts. There are shortcuts like Control Z to undo, Control S to save, Control R to redo, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Those are some pretty basic ones. And things like that are pretty universal, I think, in most programs. So they should work in whatever art program you use. Also, if your tablet pen has buttons, you can set them to be whatever you like. By default, I think the first button is an eraser, and the second is the eyedropper. I don't know, maybe that's just with you on tablets. Don't put too much pressure on yourself at first. Your art may not look like how you want it to look at first, and that's totally okay. Just keep pushing, and eventually you'll get to where you want to be. You won't get better overnight, unfortunately. Another thing to keep in mind is what kind of art style you want to go for. Western? Anime? Somewhere in between, realism, semi-realism, you decide and then follow the path that leads you to that style. For this series, I'm going to be showing you what is, like, somewhere in between Western and anime. It's very cartoonish. Uh, before drawing a piece, practice your line strokes, especially if you're getting used to drawing on a screenless tablet. That's very important. Also, burnout exists, okay? Uh, so, take breaks and try not to force yourself to draw if you're not feeling it. But also... Maybe try and get in the mood with music and stuff that makes you inspired. Drawing for a long time can take a physical toll, such as carpal tunnel, wrist cramps due to not drawing with your full arm like you're supposed to, back problems, etc. So, make sure to take breaks. And all art is subjective. You gotta remember this. There's no real right or wrong way, but there are the basic fundamentals which you can learn. So that's part one of this series on getting started on doing digital art. Next, I'll do color theory, and then following that, I'll show you my art process. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, here's me being a generic YouTuber asking for you to, you know, like and subscribe, because, I don't know, man, it makes me happy. Uh, leave a comment, too. That'd be real nice. Okay, bye.